your girl went on a piercing tour, okay? I ended up getting, what did I get? I got four additional piercings in my ear for a total of six piercings. Hey guys, hey, it is your girl from Fashion Week TV and the place to be and welcome or welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, guys, we are going to be uh, taking it back to the weekend. So this past weekend was MLK weekend. So it was an extended weekend for me because I was smart enough to take the Friday before the Monday we had off from work. So I was uh, off Friday to Tuesday which gave me kind of like a little extended weekend which was really really cool so on friday chet and i went to the mall you know we were walking around the mall kind of just perusing things looking around you know you know the things and um we went past claire's and in the window they had like this big sign that said free ear piercing or something like that so i was like you know maybe i should get a second hole and he was like, you want to do that? I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know. My son actually wanted to get his ear re-pierced um, for Christmas. But when I asked him about going to get it done, he changed his mind. So I said, you know what? I'll get it done, you know. So I went in there and I inquired about um, a cartilage piercing. And I ended up getting two, right? Cool. So they did that. Um, all good. But then... I was up scrolling and I started stumbling upon other ear piercings and I immediately became intrigued. So, your girl went on a piercing tour, okay? I ended up getting, what did I get? I got four additional piercings in my ear for a total of six piercings, okay? Six piercings in one weekend, okay? So I did document the entire experience and I thought that I would bring it to the channel. Why not? I'm always going on these journeys. I'm always doing these things. And so I have the footage. Um, so I figured I may as well just share it. But um, just to bring you up to speed on what we got, um, I got the cartilage piercing. I got the, the conch piercing, which is inside the ear. And then I also got a flat right so i'm gonna do a close-up don't worry we're gonna give you some b-roll and then on this side i got the cartilage a flat and i got a tragus piercing so again i'm gonna zoom in on everything to kind of give you a really good look um, i went to a place locally um here in bergen county in inglewood actually uh the name of the tattoo uh, spot is called seven souls tattoo and seven souls they have multiple locations um, around New Jersey I actually got this tattoo done at seven souls in Jersey City um, so yeah uh, when I googled seven souls and I found out that there was um, a location near me um, I gave them a call um, spoke with the piercer she said I can come in as a walk-in and she was really really excellent so we're gonna go ahead and take you back in time so that you guys could see the entire piercing experience from start to finish and then we'll come back to today and I will give you a close-up of the piercings that I got I love them and I'm very very excited um, they look good and yeah i'm excited um this time around though uh i got the pure the earrings or the the jewelry that i actually wanted to get so i i recall in the past that anytime i would get a uh, get pierced that i would always get the cheapest jewelry the lowest level the base product the base jewelry i would always find myself i'm um, going with the base jewelry um this was not by any stretch of the imagination cheap Okay, it was not cheap at all. Um, so we'll come back into present day and I'll give you a rundown of the, the pricing. I'll show you the jewelry that I got. I got middle of the road, middle of the road jewelry, jewelry that I like, um, that's aesthetically pleasing to me. Um, so it did, it, you know, it did cost a little bit more. <laughs> 
a lot more. But yes, like I said, we'll come back to present day and we'll we'll run through all of that. But sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience. <laughs> I said I'm going to the store. I'll be right back. <laughs> He's gonna be like, I can't believe you did that. I guess I did. If you need a break in between, just let me know. Okay, okay sure. And have you turned your head a little bit? Perfect. Deep breath in. And that one. You okay? Mm hmm. You feel a little bit of pressure here? Okay. What do you think? Beautiful. I love it. Take a flat one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Deep breath in. And out. Beautiful. Taking the sharp stuff out now. Okay. That's a sign. I've done this um, this emerald anodized to gold for my sister for hers because she loves. Um, Is it one of the sisters I've met? Yes. The younger one? The Aries? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Your people. <laughs> Your people. Yes. All right. That's three. Okay. Do you feel your clouds? Do you fit you to size? Fit you to size, yep. I love that she's like not flinching, not really having a green Beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay. Last one. Okay. 
I'm happy. Like, everything looks so good. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. So, was it good or what? I got those piercings. Did you see your girl didn't even flinch? She didn't even flinch. So yes, I am loving, loving my ear piercings. Um, so far, as far as the healing and things go, I was told by my piercer that um, the healing would take up to 12 months, uh, which I don't think I was surprised to hear that. I was probably um, surprised and maybe not so surprised because I mean, for me personally, I've had my nose pierced before and that nose piercing, it just seemed like it was so tender even after a year. So I guess in the back of my mind, I knew that it would take some time to heal. I didn't know specifically that it would take 12 full months. Um, and she said usually it takes about six months but the fact that I did so many at once it could potentially prolong the healing so 12 months is probably the max that it would take to fully heal so you know I'm gonna be cleaning um, you know kind you know doing the doing the most for 12 months like you know cleaning them and you know kind of babying them um to the you know until they're fully healed which i'm completely okay with um she told me that i would have to sleep on my back but what i did was i actually um i'm actually using my neck pillow like you know the pillow that you use when you um when you fly i'm actually using that pillow to kind of like lay my ear in um so that there's like a barrier and i've been sleeping completely fine on my side so it's not a piercing pillow, but I'm using it as a piercing pillow and it's working um, because I am a side sleeper. So if you're a side sleeper, just keep that in mind before you go off and just get a whole bunch of piercings at once. Now, I don't know how many um, would have been like the maximum. Um, uh, what I've read is that typically they don't encourage that you do more than four in one session. Um, so yeah, I did four in one session and then I did two in another session the day before. Um, so that's how I ended up with six. Uh, but, you know, so far so good. I'm not experiencing any pain or discomfort. Once they were done, like the pain was just in the moment type of pain. Once she pierced it and she put the jewelry in, I didn't feel any pain. I didn't feel any numbness or any of that. So, I mean, you can see in the video, I didn't flinch at all. Um, so the process was 
it was pretty easy i mean everyone's pain tolerance is different but for me um, i would like to think that i have a higher pain tolerance than most but even still it wasn't painful at all i can think of other things that were way more painful than that so you know it was a pinch it was a pinch that was all it was a pinch um so i'm looking forward to you know being able to style these ears but the the jewelry that i have now i am content with it <laughs> for the long haul i do go back in a month so that they can change the gauge um because she put a she put a longer gauge in um to accommodate any swelling that i would experience and then she said in about 30 days i would return and then she would uh, switch them out for a smaller gauge and as far as um the cost associated with that she said it would cost me a total of 50 dollars to do that plus you know tip or whatever um so i'm, I'm cool with that um, as far as the cost of the piercings okay in total the piercing and the jewelry uh, my total was 413 dollars and that that's not including the helix piercing because I, I went somewhere else to get that so you know the jewelry was a little pricey and you know the piercing service was not included with the price of the jewelry so with tip and everything i came in at just under 500 dollars for my piercing so you best to believe that i will be taking care of them very very good care of them um you know because i want them to last and i want them to look beautiful so there's that um, and I think that's it. If you if you have any questions about um, ear piercings, um, you can post a comment below. Uh, but I just wanted to share my experience because, yeah, why not? Why not? So I hope that you guys have found this video extremely helpful. If you've made it this far in the video, what are you doing? Subscribe. I want you here. I want you here. Join me. Please. Please. Alrighty guys, I'm just bugging out. But yeah, definitely hit that button. Hit it. Smash it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.